This is a Toro wheel horse 267 HE and it's a pretty good pretty good mower or tractor. I've had it for I've had it for 21 years. Um, the engine covers off right now. It's over there I added a um, bit of a protection for this. Um, it's yeah, cool for that fan so it's a um, dust protection for this fan which it had deteriorated. Um, I use this mower as a um, as a slasher so there's three acres here and it's kind of paddock but it's not you couldn't really call it lawn and so it's used just as a slasher and one of the things I've added to this is a um, fire extinguisher and the reason that's there is because my wheel horse caught fire and um, it caught fire around the muffler area so there's the muffler which is below the air cleaner element and what happens here is I'll just put light into there um, there's all this sort of oil dust mixture in a box and the box is to protect the muffler a muffler box you could call it and the muffler box is in solid um, frame members that is a solid side rail of the frame so it's between the two side rails of the frame and the base of it is I'll just see The base of it is also heavy steel so it sort of creates this dust trap and I have tried to tried to um, fix it in the past and there's the cover this cover goes over it like like so so it, it, it's covered like like that and I've kind of bent these out a little bit just so I can get in there and move that stuff around and try and push it out but the fact is that um, I don't think there's really much of a place it can come out it can come out here I guess and possibly there and I think I've actually made those cut those slots in it but as you can see yeah some of it's just falling out now as you can see there's still plenty of that oil sort of dirt and lawnmower cuttings build up still falling in there and just sort of sticking in there because um, I was driving this a couple of days ago and I could see a lot of smoke coming out of this area again and it really wasn't that hot the muffler wasn't that hot so yeah that's a real it's a pity because it's sort of Apart from that, it's a pretty good lawn tractor. Um, the uh, Kohler V20 twin, en twin engine's been really reliable, and I try and look after it as best as I can. So I'm going to try and see if I can improve this a little bit. I may not be able to, because uh, I'm a bit limited in what I can do. Possibly, it'd be good if there was a way of just getting cleaning that out automatically somehow but I really don't know how and so it's just a matter of time before this all this builds up again and um, catches fire again so anyway hi there I've just done a um, much better investigation of this problem um, and it, unfortunately, it, it really is a problem. That um, muffler is really locked into a heavy steel box. And what's happened is that the oil and um, dust 
probably and and grass possibly mixes together in there and there are a couple of little vents in the bottom of it i found but they get blocked up because that type of material will just block up any little vent the vents are small so they're um like it gets coated there it's coated along those bars there it just sticks it's just sticky so that sticky stuff just blocks up the little the little vent in the bottom of that big seal unit so i, I reckon toro had a big sort of trade-off where they um had to be careful of not setting fire to people's properties um from the lawnmower you know or for the lawnmower just coming in contact with long grass and then igniting it so in order to protect themselves from any litigation in that area they have gone for just completely enclosing the muffler system or the exhaust system in in this box this heavy steel box like um yeah it's it's even part the sides of it are part of the chassis rail and i think possibly the base is too it's actually just built completely into the chassis with a couple of really small holes and then eventually after a few oh i don't know how many hours hours of use probably not even in the hundreds of hours because i don't even spend 100 hours a year on this thing um after a few cycles of use this thing just these little vents become clogged up and from then from that point on it's a ma only a matter of time before the heat a hot day summer this exhaust pipe being hot um will ignite it and that's what happened before and um amazingly the uh this thing was actually on fire um I could see flames coming from the from the motor and I ran up to the ha to the house and I think I grabbed the bucket and and put it out with water but it did burn off the um it burnt off some of the spark plug leads or an accelerator cable and or two it would yeah but ama amazingly um it still worked it still fired up after there'd been this engine fire so the the cola system's pretty reliable i think it's just um run into a problem here with these things being used in suburbia and they don't want to make too much noise and disturb the neighbors or set fire to the to the uh, gardens around the houses so I'm probably using it way outside of its range here on a small hobby farm. And um, what I'm thinking of doing is getting rid of that. Getting rid of that completely and possibly buying an aftermarket double muffler system that comes out the sides. Um, so that I can just keep using this because it's gone for 20 years and with some... Um, I've invested in a Kevlar drive belt. There, it, there's a main drive belt down the centre of it in there, um, which which drives a um, a transmission. Um, now it's a hydrostatic. It's a hydrostatic box gearbox. It hasn't got the got. It hasn't got gears. It's just got forward and reverse, but. I think the speed is the accelerator is connected to it and that gives you your forward drive i found it's best not to tow things i was towing logs small logs with this but i don't use it for that i don't think it's got the guts to do it um i've decided to just use it for mowing and uh, that's all i use it for but i don't want to spend a lot of time having to maintain that fire trap down there so i'll hopefully just get rid of it that's my thinking hi there it's um a couple of months later and i've come back to install mufflers on this and anyway i, I have been using it a little bit i haven't really done the lawn mowing with it but i usually just ride it to um keep the battery charged but 
Okay, there's the muffler. And I'm about to, um, I don't think there's anything really. Oh yeah, there's a bolt there. Um, that'll have to come out. Um, so I'll un undo that bolt and then undo the bolts uh, on the head for the exhaust pipe. So I'll do that and get back to you. Yeah, I've um, finally got the got the uh, exhaust pipes and muffler off and um, held on by two half inch nuts the the outer the two outer ones there and there are easy to get off the inner ones are hard I had to remove a um, part of a bracket at the front for the um, throttle I guess yeah part of that throttle bracket I, you can see that can you see that moving here yeah, I, I moved that just to give myself a bit more room on that side this side was even harder so what I did was I made a tool just to get in there um, I just uh, ground off um, the other half of a um, pretty cheap socket chain uh, chainsaw multi-tool type of thing and just ground it off so I could get it in there um, I'll just where's my torch I'm always losing my torch here it is there. whoops that's the area I've been working in um, there's not much room between the between those two exhaust bolts and that chassis rail but anyway I got it off um, they're easy to get off I did put WD-40 on them a few weeks ago but even so they're still off but you can see the um, the kind of box that this sits in just there it's still got crap in it um, but now I'm going to redo this somehow and I'll have it coming out somewhere else maybe they'll be going up I'm not really sure but anyway my next job is to cut off that muffler and try out the different combinations all right here's the muffler set up the old one um, just going to cut these two um, intake pipe inlet pipes off it I'd normally use a angle grinder but I'm right up against a little car so I decided to just do it with this um axle. Well maybe I will use an angle grinder. Once you get in there, it's okay. Okay, that's what I wanted. I'll get the other one bit of a workout
suchen. Ähm yeah, this has got a bend near the end of it, and I probably need a straight section for that to go into. Um yeah, I think I'll probably do that so it's straight. And this one. By the way, this is the new exhaust pipe. It's, a, it's exactly the same inner and outer diameter of what I've just taken off. But yeah, I want to have it sort of straight or into a... Because once these exhausts have been bent, it kind of alters the the geometry of it a bit, so I'll probably just have it like so. Um, so I can take a bit more off that. Okay, this is where I'm up to. I've um, got the mufflers and the exhaust pipe sort of made it together. Actually, that's really rough. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they're going to be I'm going to get them welded down at the engineering place um, and I've sort of checked it out on the um, on the ride on and these will be sort of facing towards the ground behind the front wheel so it's sort of out of the way and they're fairly short um, also this bracket here, I probably won't use it, but I've um, put a mark on there to line it up with that um, little exhaust pipe. And there's another job I'm taking down there. This is this is a flat iron. Whoa! And it's the first flat iron I found with the handle still on it. And um, unfortunately the handle just broke off while I was cleaning it. That, that always happens with this sort of stuff. And um, I'm going to ask them if, they, if they're able to weld it. So three little welding jobs, I'll let you know how I go. Yeah, this is how the, um, how the mufflers came back. Um, that was strange actually. And <laughs> there's the flat iron. Um, three welding jobs incredibly when I went to pay the guy he only wanted five dollars and he's he's shutting down his factory or his engineering shop and um, a bit sad really um, I think he's the only engineer, engineering shop for about 40 kilometers around here but I ended up giving him fifteen dollars and he just told me he just wanted to spend it on beer but anyway I've got these and I'm ready to put them on um, it's pretty late in the afternoon so I probably won't do it today I'll um, clean up the I've already cleaned up the uh, the exhaust port section of these and I'll do the actual exhaust port on there um, possibly reroute this um what is that choke cable i think that's the choke cable don't know if that'll go above or below it but anyway i'll figure it out okay i've got the um the first muffler on there and that went pretty pretty well i rerouted the uh that accelerator cable a bit just it's far enough away from the um, exhaust pipe to not be an issue that's also far enough away from the tire not to be an issue so that all worked out pretty well um, I'm going to do the other side now um, this is quite interesting um, for anybody that's never done this, these are the uh, uh, the um, what would you call them? Oh, gee, I've gone blank. The gaskets. 
exhaust pipe gaskets and these are the ones I took off which are the same thing they're kind of like a silvery type material um, these have been on there for for over 20 years because that's how long I've had this this mow 20 years and they just came straight off and they're not really destroyed so nothing there's no additive to these they just go on there and then the um, tailpipe just bolts onto them so um, yeah straightforward and I've just got to go and put it into into there um, there it is look, there it is there ready to go on um, yeah and then after that I'll fire it up um, okay yeah I've got um, both mufflers on there um, issue here was it was very close to the to the tire at full lock but anyway I'll solve that now I'll put on full lock and just see what we got there yeah we got an inch in the old scale so it's not touching the tire on the other side different story I'm gonna to have to modify that um, old school hillbilly mod there I'm gonna to have to bash it there and just put, bring the corner up a little bit more um, I won't do that today it's winter time here and the days are pretty short so I was kind of happy to get done what I did do um, now now I'm going to as promised give this thing a try Okay, pretty happy with that. It's a fair bit quieter. Um, I think I could probably... I don't know how good the throttle adjustment is there. I could probably get a bit more throttle out of that. So I'll come back and do this another day, but for the time being, I've um, achieved what I set out to achieve. This is where I'm up to. Um, both, both, both mufflers are on. Um, I've, I can shut this over. I've cut out slots in the um, plastic cover and it closes, but I'm going to modify that one slightly. Um, what I found with this, actually with both mufflers, that they were, they were touching the tyre on full lot, but now they don't and what I did was um, I just took the muffler off and I've got a believe it or not a piece of railway line heavy heavy duty railway line a few meters of it and anyway I just lay lay that down I, I was holding it holding it there laid this corner down and banged it a few times only about half a dozen times with a with a lump hammer and just enough to bend it and so what happens is if you make it increase an angle there it actually sort of magnifies and you actually lift it a fair bit by the geometry so yeah something to do with angles and stuff so if you increase the angle here you actually really increase it quite a bit down there so it's actually not too bad to do um, now I'm I tried different things cutting this um, I tried scouring it with that tool which is for cutting cement 
um, cement sheet, score and snap knife. These are pretty handy, but I didn't really do it. Um, I used a hacksaw, um, and I, and when I did most of this, this cover piece was off. It's, they're actually really hard to put on these cover pieces, but there are two pins down there, one on either side, and I've just got a, like a a key ring in there, so that they're so to make it just a little easier to get off and on. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to do now is. <laughs> yeah, not exactly. I'm not exactly a real pro at this, but uh, practice makes perfect, I guess. Okay, that's that's how it shuts. <laughs> Yes, yeah, real rocket science, isn't it? Um, I've got plenty of room for, for the muffler for heating up or whatever. Um, plenty of room on this side for the muffler. I did crack it slightly, but I'll probably repair it with maybe... Um, there's a bit of a crack up there with... Uh, I'll repair it with... Um, what do they call it? Liquid nails. I find liquid nails works for me on lots of things. So... Anyway, that's where I'm up to. I've also um, I've also changed the um, the accelerator, um, and the accelerator in this is actually hand operated. The uh, that's the accelerator there. There's a picture of a hare and a tortoise on it. So. What I found was at full acceleration, the, the motor was only accelerating up to about probably maybe 70% of its total um, power. It's just something like a 650cc V twin, four stroke. So uh, I modified it so when it's f at full acceleration, it's pretty much at full throttle. So that kind of dampened it down. So. It wasn't at full throttle, um, so now now it is. So I can actually drive around just on half throttle a, a lot of the time. Um, the reason I got this is because it's a really it's really sloping land here, and I needed something that could mow and go up hills at the same time. And this is this is the machine for it. Um, what I'll do is I'll just. Um, I'll just power this up again and we'll see see how we go. This is it. So this is at half throttle.
you're not supposed to be able to get off one of these things while the engine's running. So there's a switch inside the seat, so um, and you're also got to have your foot on the brake, I think, in order to yeah, in order for it to run when it's just stationary. So I'm not sure. I don't, all I did was unplug a few of those electricals there, so I'm not sure why that now does it. But anyway, this is where I'm up to. Um, thanks for watching. This ride on's idling, and you're really not supposed to get off the ride on when it's um, when the engine's running. But uh, for some reason now, since I put those that new exhaust system on it, you can um, you can get off it while it's running. The reason for that is if you are sort of somehow fell off it, the thing could ro ride over you and chop you up. But uh, that's the reason for that but this thing's never idled like that before that slow since adjusting the um, throttle I seem to have a full range of throttle now which I never had before <laughs> I um, I added a bar to the front of this um, that is um, that's off the first chainsaw I ever bought a second hand chainsaw a really old one and for some reason I ended up with the chrome bar and uh, I thought I'd always have a use for that and sure enough I've got a use for it on the front of this because often I kind of go through thick stuff and that kind of, prote kind of protects it but as far as the um, the muffler job on this, I'm pretty happy with it.